first time I heard Fight Back, uh, I didn't believe that it, it will be on the EP. But after we did the first demo of it with uh, with guys, I thought that yeah, this is this is kick ass song. And I, yeah, I totally remember the time when we were doing the demo with uh, Jonne. Jonne was like producing the drums when I was playing. Yeah, he, he was kind of <laughs> when we were doing the drums for the like he didn't accept any mistake or any like uh, time bad timings and stuff. But it was a good thing. Straightforward rock song, quite classical in composition wise, and it's what that's one of my favorites to play in live because it really gives me the opportunity just to relax and I can beat the shit out of my guitar. I remember when I did the song and I really like it and then we did it with guys, we did the demo and then we sent it to Jussi and Jussi just said that it's a good song but you guys can do it better, you can do better songs than this and I processed it like at two weeks and then I called, called to Jussi and said that I basically begged him and I said that we should do this and then you still listen it again and he called me back and said that okay let's do this it's a great song when you're living your life and things go wrong and things are stressful you just have to fight back and keep going so that's the meaning of the song
Future was the song that we recorded at the first. I thought it's gonna be like maybe one hour because uh, it was so, like the song is quite old. It's like maybe four years old and we have been playing it a lot. And I thought it's gonna be an easy thing, but it, it, it was not. Yeah, it was not that simple. And when we, when we were recording it, it, it took like eight hours when it was on the tape and it, 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 it broke my hand. And we have we we gotta stop the recordings. We we were supposed to be three days in on a stu in a studio and uh, yeah. After recording the future, I had I had to have break like two months. Future is a song that was made before I joined the band, and I was a bit nervous before the first rehearsals, and I asked them that what should I play in this song and they didn't know either so they just said that just just play something and I came up this with this idea of dun 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 part and it's funny that that thing that came in my mind are the main main rhythm thing in the verses. Future is a pretty personal song for me uh, it's about my on life and things I have gone through. And I remember when I wrote the lyrics, I just wrote it on, in, like in one session and we never changed any, <laughs> any of the words. And uh, when I wrote the chorus of Future, I had an idea on my mind that people should be able to jump on the tempo of the song when we play it live. Future is probably the song which has most versions made out of. It's the original version is, I don't know, three, four years old already. It was about that time when Oso left the band and we didn't have a bass player. So we, uh, we spent a lot of time with Jonne in rehearsal place. And I remember at one point the chorus was also, it, it was like a delay based guitar, Jonne, Jonne made it. It was like it was, I'm, I'm really happy that it, it's not that anymore. <laughs> it's way, it's way more, it's way better now than it was.
Nothing is gonna be okay is the, my favorite song to play live, definitely. And it's the the song where I can like really do this kind of uh, cooperation with with Kaur when he's playing bass. There is just something magical on the bass line and the drums cooperation. Nothing's gonna be okay is 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 the song what I wasn't so excited about at first. It I didn't click with the song. It, it just didn't feel good playing it and it, I don't know why. But then Kaure and Ossi was so excited about it so I gave it a chance. And now we're talking about like the first version of the song. But then the final version, it's, it's fucking good. <laughs> And it's also one of my favorites to play in live because it has it has really rough fucking banger feeling to play. And then it's just it's 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 good. It's very good. I like it. No. Our first experience having a producer. I remember when Yossi sent us back the like his vision of the song. It changed pretty much and he just sliced the whole song in different parts and moved them and it just worked. I saw a t-shirt which said nothing is gonna be okay. It was like printed on the t-shirt. Then I came up with an idea that we should have a song called Nothing is gonna be okay. And the meaning of song is basically that when you're feeling low and you feel lost and you feel like nothing is gonna be okay. Then you just thought, is there somebody in somewhere who's got your back, who's gonna save you from that situation?
we had this Lazy Sunday rehearsals and Jonne pressed a key of his synth and it started to make this arpeggio sound and I just started to play bass on it and it took us about two minutes to make the bass of the song. We came back from break and Jonne was playing this cool arpeggio with synth and then and Kauri, Kauri made, invented this, this bass line and I picked up my guitar and we just kind of started jamming the song and then we had a talk that it would be a great song. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be an actual song. It, we, we had the thought that it would be a cool intro song for our live gigs. Uh, we had some major issues with the song's chorus. We did like uh, five different choruses for this song. And then Jussi just called me and said that maybe we should do it together. And then I went to Jussi's studio and we did like two different choruses. And then we did the third one and then it worked. So basically me and Jussi did the chorus for this song.
uh, done for tonight. Jonna made this good sounding melody for the verse of the song. And then it was a day before the final, final guitar session of that song. I made another demo at my home and I just added the delays from the from the verse to the chorus and I thought that yeah this is this is rocking and then, then I sent it to the guys and I had some mixed feedback the next day we went to I went to Yussi studio and he was excited yeah let's try this and then we just added more and more delay for the whole song I think Jonne called me and and oh yeah it's 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 good but don't you think there's too much delay in the song? I was like, yeah, maybe, but I can, I can, I can take some off. I've just never, we never took, <laughs> and now, and now it, it's flying. Uh, I didn't know anything about those delay guitars before I went to the Jussi studio where Jussi and Jesse were uh, recording guitar parts. And when I got there, Jussi said, "Do you want to hear it?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." He pressed play and I, I turned to pale white and thought, what the fuck? At, at the first time I didn't like catch it because it was so different than the original one. But now I think that's like the best part of the song is those Yeses guitar delays. And it's like the kind of heart of the song. Down for tonight is my personal favorite, but it wasn't that at first. To be honest, uh, I thought that the song was a bit lame and boring. But after Jesse and Jussi did their magic in Jussi studio, it was love at first sight. I just loved the guitar on it. Uh, we almost dropped a guitar solo out of the song because we didn't have like like a good solo so then one day i was in my shower and the idea of the song popped in my head and i basically did the solo in my head in my shower and i just ran out of the shower butt naked and grabbed my guitar and i recorded the solo on my phone and i sent it to yussi and yussi just answered to me that okay now we get a good guitar solo for this song. 